Hello, in this video we're going to derive the input demand functions from a Cobb-Douglas production function. So here is our Cobb-Douglas production function. L is units of labor, K units of capital. Uh, we're going to have the price of the output good equal P, the wage equal W, and the price or rental rate of capital equal to R. And here our goal is to derive the input demand for labor where labor is a function of the wage, price of capital, and the price of the good itself. And we're also going to derive the input demand for capital, where capital is a function of the wage, price of capital, and the price of the output good. These are not conditional input demand functions. I have some videos that derive conditional input demand functions, where labor and capital uh, demand is uh, conditional on the output of the firm, the quantity Q. Uh, that's not what we're doing in this video. So we're going to set up the firm's profit function. Profit is total revenue, price times quantity, minus the cost of labor, minus the cost of capital. Substituting in the production function for Q, we have this expression. We are going to take two partial derivatives. We're going to take the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to labor. And we will get this result, setting it equal to zero. We will take the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to capital and get this result, and setting that equal to zero. Our next step is to solve equation two here for k. So I'm going to solve this equation right here for k, moving r over to the right-hand side. And following the rules of exponents, I'm going to move k into the denominator. And I'm going to multi every, multiply everything through by this k term and divide everything through by r. That leaves us with this expression. And now we're going to just raise both sides to the 4 thirds power and we get this result. I'm going to take this result and plug it into equation 1 where I see k in equation 1. I'm going to plug in everything here on the right hand side. So after making that substitution into equation 1 we have this result and now it's just a matter of simplifying and solving for L. So 1 fourth times four-thirds will leave us with one-third here in the exponent. One-fourth times one-third will leave us with one-twelfth on the exponent here on the L term. Moving this L down into the denominator. Simplifying these L terms, we get this result here. Multiplying everything through by L to the 2 thirds power, we get this. Dividing then everything through by the wage, we have this result here. Raising both sides to the 3 halves power. So P divided by W now is raised to the 3 halves, and then 3 halves times 1 third will leave P divided by R all raised to the 1 half power. We can simplify this a little bit further. P to the 3 halves and times P to the 1 half is just P squared. And that is our input demand for labor. You'll notice it is a function of the price of the output good and the price of labor and price of capital. All right, the next step is to get the input demand function for capital K. So we're going to take this equation right here and we're going to plug it into equation 2. Equation 2, if you recall, was the partial derivative of the profit function with respect to capital. It was this result. That was the result of our partial derivative. So where we see L here going to plug in this right hand side <clears throat> making that substitution and simplifying 
I just divided everything through by R. So now I got P divided by R. And I multiplied both sides by K to the 3 fourths power. So we get something like this. Moving on. Just rewriting that last step. So this 1 fourth times the 2 in the exponent here gives us p to the 1 half. Uh, this 1 fourth times 3 halves is where this 3 eighths is coming from. And then 1 fourth times 1 half is where this 1 eighth is coming from. And then r times r to the 1 eighth is just r to the 9 eighths power. And p times p to the 1 half power is where this p to the 3 halves is coming from. Now just ra raising both sides to the 4 thirds power. And simplifying. That is our input demand function for capital, where capital is a function of the price, the output good, the price of labor, and the price of capital. Again, this is not a conditional input demand because K here is not uh, a function of Q on the right-hand side. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.